What's next, Austin? I, I just think uh, growth and scale. Like I, I really do think that um, the 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 one silver line in it from COVID was just the speed that we attracted a new group of entrepreneurs, a new group of talent, and grew. And I think to your point, you know, we're one of the few markets that hasn't seen a drop off. And I I, I do think that. It's going to be a tough next few years in capital markets. I mean, we, we have the highest Fed funds rate in 50, you know, 20, 20 years, right? Like, so, so nobody should have any illusions, but I, I really do feel like the, the gains Austin has made have been pretty well cemented. And, and it, it's almost like given us a whole other foundation to go build on for the next decade. Great answer. And um, I would echo that and maybe just to get a little bit more specific, I'm super excited about all things digital health right now. I know you do a lot in this space as well, but I think between the kind of fundamental culture we have in Austin around fitness and wellness, the addition of Dell Medical School, um, you know, recent addition of new labs in town, there's a lot of things coming together, the backdrop, the talent, that I think there's going to be a real um, kind of like step change in some digital health companies coming out of Austin. 